Well, the sluggish recovery and a mountain of debt piled up in the 1980s is forcing a record number of individuals and businesses into bankruptcy court. Money editor Bill Flanagan reports bankruptcy court doesn't have the stigma it used to, but it's still a place to avoid if you can. Easy money is all around us. Whether it's credit cards, home equity loans, or whatever, Americans have been on a borrowing binge. And for more and more of them, the bills are coming due. You can spot the trend in an ever-rising tide of individual and business bankruptcies. During the first half of the 1980s, even taking the last recession into account, the number of bankruptcy filings remained pretty much flat, about 360,000 a year. However, during the six years since, bankruptcy filings have been increasing by about 20% a year. We hear about bankruptcy every day. Robert Bernstein is an attorney who specializes in bankruptcy. Uh, most business people and, and uh, individuals hear about it every day. It's not, the, it's not as scary as it used to be. Although there are several ways to file bankruptcy, most individuals choose Chapter 7, liquidation. The court is supposed to supervise the sale of your property and distribute the proceeds to your creditors. However, there are a number of exemptions that allow most individuals and couples to keep their houses and cars, even some jewelry and insurance so frequently the creditors get nothing. The other type of individual bankruptcy, Chapter 13, usually assures that the creditors will get something. The so-called wage earner plan sets up an installment plan to repay debts. You get to keep your property, and the terms may be extended or reduced. Either way, bankruptcy is not an easy way out. Jack Honorad is president of the Consumer Credit Counseling Service. Oftentimes leaves a trail behind in the credit record at one of the various credit reporting agencies. Uh, that can be a problem later on in case uh, a job change or if you apply for unsecured credit, that sort of thing. If you find yourself running up bigger and bigger balances on your credit cards, living from paycheck to paycheck, and not saving any money, you could be a candidate for credit counseling, a free service that could save you a trip to bankruptcy court. Bill Flanagan, KDKA Eyewitness. Tonight, Wayne Van Don has some encouraging news for 11,000 or so former ID Craig customers who were caught in the middle of a power struggle with Blue Cross. ID Craig was the broker, Blue Cross was the insurance carrier for an attractive major medical package. The customers were generally satisfied, but ID Craig was seeking a lower premium rate from Blue Cross, and Blue Cross refused and terminated the agreement. ID Craig got into trouble by continuing to collect premiums after the termination leaving several categories of policyholders demanding a refund and fearing they'd never get it since I.D. Craig filed for bankruptcy. And the Attorney General's office had acted to prevent I.D. Craig from accepting monies for health insurance coverage that it could no longer provide. We had gone to court. The court ordered that refunds be issued, but we were unable to pursue our action as a result of the bankruptcy filing of I.D. Craig. We're asking for permission to distribute approximately $1,300,000 to approximately 11,000 claimants. These 11,000 claimants include, for the most part, those subscribers whose coverage has been terminated and who have security deposits or advance payments deposited with the company. The only thing standing in the way of you getting a refund if you're an ID Craig customer is an order by a federal bankruptcy judge. That order is expected to come sometime next week. Wayne Van Dyne, KDKA Eyewitness News. So, so if you have a refund coming, you need not call or write anyone. It's just going to happen automatically. This action will have no effect on 600 other ID Craig customers whose policies remain in effect. It affects only those who were terminated last year. We have a follow-up to our top story from yesterday at 6 o'clock. One of Pittsburgh's largest home builders is in the process of filing for bankruptcy. Lynn Sawyer has been back on the story today. And, Lynn, what did you learn? Ray, I talked with the owner of Image Homes, Raymond Smith, today. He told me he will not have anything to say for another day or two. We checked bankruptcy court and found nothing had been filed as yet. Customers have been told by Smith's attorney to expect a certified letter this week asking them to detail their claims. In the meantime, buyers are confused and upset. I'm devastated. I mean, we put our whole life savings into this house. Those words summarize the feelings of all in the process of building houses with image homes. Until a bankruptcy is formally filed, few questions can be answered for customers, subcontractors, or suppliers. Without specific details, it's difficult to say what will happen. But bankruptcy generally is not good news for anybody. I think they can expect to have some trouble. 
The trouble meaning it will take some time to sort this all out. Uh, even in the best circumstances, uh, I think they can expect to lose some money because there are very few bankruptcy cases that pay creditors in full. Is there anything customers can do to protect themselves at this stage? Uh, generally, I would say that they should not make any more payments and they should ask their banks to hold up any payments, at least until they find out what's going on. There's probably nothing that they can do to give them an advantage if a bankruptcy is going to be filed in the next few days. Some customers have closed on their houses while others' homes are in varying stages of completion. All are advised to contact their lenders for advice on their specific situations. Yesterday, Raymond Smith told us that the company's financial problems began when the government took over two local savings and loans. While we don't know the details of Image's financial problems, the National Home Builders Association says this could be another example of the effects of the savings and loan scandal that forced thousands of builders out of business nationwide. And Ray, when something like this happens, it makes the big picture of this savings and loan disaster very personal. Oh, absolutely.